Hey guys, in today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about Roba. So Roba, it's wonderful. You can use it to help you resolve errors before your users do, you know? By the time your users start reporting errors, that's an issue. You'll be able to relate with this if you have developed things such as Android apps. Like I develop Android apps and sometimes you deploy into production, you put it on Google Play Store and your app crashes on people's phones. And you, imagine if you have about 1 million users. Now, your app starts crashing and you, you don't know yet. By the time someone tells you, oh hey, your app is crashing. By that time, it might have been too late. It might have caused a devastating effect and you know the rest is history so with stuff like roba you can catch errors before it gets out of control even if it's not a fatal error you can look at your console on roba and know what's going on so in roba you can it's not just android you can use it on other platforms. You can see Ruby, Node.js. I know a lot of people like Node. PHP, yeah, the Euro guy. .NET, Python, Android, JavaScript, iOS, and, you know, plain Java. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking using Android. But it doesn't really matter. You know... If you understand it in Android, you'll be able to apply it in other platforms. So, the pricing, you know, for developers, it may be a good product, but what is the price? That's what we're concerned about. Am I going to be paying $1K per month? Nope. It's free for, you know, basic stuff. Then, essentials, $41, advanced, $83. You know, this free is even... It's, a, it's big, like it gives you 5,000 free error events per month. That's that's a lot. That's, in my opinion, very good. So if you're interested, you can check it out. Apart from that, you can also progress to the $41 if you're interested. So I'm going to create a new project here. I'll call this project uh, Opa Example. So that's the name of the project. Time zone US Pacific, right? Africa. What's Lagos? Lagos. For time for months, blah, 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 blah. And I created a new project. Next is to choose the primary Roba SDK. So it's Android. So we continue. Okay. 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 So for this installation using Android Studio or Gradle, I should do this. So I copy this, go to my project, go to my computer gradle, and paste this here. And I think put my access token there. So I copy this. I come here and I put it under here. So you, here you get your access token. Then initialize Roba. So 
and come over here robot init so this is what I used to initialize robot of course but this is what I used to I'm just throwing an exception a test error as you can see from this statement normally if your app crashes it automatically send the result but since this app is not crashing I need to generate an artificial crash so I run it with let me make sure Android manifest uses turn it okay. so we'll come over here run it let's run our program so here the hello world application is up so let's check the database not the database the dashboard don't know why i'm thinking of a database so here you see this this is a test error remember when we wrote it here so normally if it was if it was a normal error you will also see the error here if i click on this error you can see when last it was seen i actually ran this program twice you didn't see that but the first time was some minutes ago and the second was two minutes ago so if you go on you could even see where the error originated from the line as you can see you see main activity line 16 and where is line 16 here let's check it. voila line 16 and this is actually where we threw the exception so if this application actually crashed you will be able to trace what why where and who as you can see you see occurrences people devices ip addresses and much more so robot is really nice if you want to keep on your users and make them happy now you could also have warning you could log in your application let's say you want to log some data without crashing the whole application you want to log a warning without the application crashing you can actually do that you could use robot dot instance dot log you could log that so you will also see the message in your dashboard now when you have an issue you could you know you could resolve it that is saying oh, i've sorted it out so if i go to my dashboard i don't see the error again because i have resolved the error now you could have multiple errors and as you sort it out you resolve it so you can track what you have sorted out and what errors are still affecting your users so you can see it's i i haven't covered everything robot can do you can do a lot so advice you come on check the documentation use it look at the documentation here you just click docs you can see lots of stuff and remember that this is not just for android literally all the popular platforms you can use robot so check it out it will help you keep it in your to-do list bookmark it see you later